some routes to be created not just from your own database but from the Spatch router. Click on the router button and open new router finder panel. At the top is the parameters group where you enter the system you want to travel from and to and select the range and other settings. To set the systems you want to travel from and to, type in the relevant boxes. For example, for the from box, type in the system name. Autocomplete will help you find the right system. Hit return to select the system. The XYZ coordinates of the system will automatically be filled in. Or you can select the system from either the current system in history or the selected target system. Do the same for the two box. The jump range box will automatically be filled in with the jump range calculated from your current ship carrying the selected amount of cargo given in the cargo box and the maximum fuel load. You can type any range into this box to override the value or type in the cargo box and select the maximum amount of cargo that you want to allow for and the jump range will be calculated again. The web lookup button allows you to configure the lookup of system names and system positions from EDM, Spanch or both. It also allows the EDD router to use these web services to find systems. This is useful if you've not loaded the system DB or have a limited set of systems loaded. The EDD router is a fast direct line router. You can select a metric to optimize the route with, allowing various amounts of deviation from the route. You can configure if FSD boosts are allowed to be used. If you have the system DB loaded from Spanch, then you can click on use permit systems to allow travel through them. The EDSM data does not contain this information and this button will be grayed out if EDSM data is loaded in the system DB. Click on find route and the router will start and fill in the systems as it finds them. The Spanch router allows you to use the Spanch site to generate a list of systems. Click on one of the router options. It will present a dialog allowing for extra options to be set for a particular router. Once ready, click on OK to send the request to Spanch. You need to wait for a while until Spanch calculates and returns the result. Some of the Spanch routers have options to return to the start. To enable this, make sure your to location is blank. Then for instance on the Earthlikes router, the return to start button will be enabled and you can choose either to return to the start or just wander off into the blue wide yonder. Once a set of systems is returned, the notes will be filled in with any information Spanch returns about system bodies. Right click on the entry to view the system scan or look up the system on Spanch or EDSM. Once a route has been made, you can click on the galaxy button to display the route in the 3D map. Once a route has been made, you can click on the Excel button to export it. You can also send it directly to the expedition panel so that it can be edited and you can create a new expedition directly using the save button. Expeditions integrate with the surveyor. Place the surveyor over your elite screen and select an expedition. The surveyor will then guide you through the expedition automatically as you jump. See episode 14 for a video on the surveyor. Don't also forget to turn on and use the Discovery's observatory system. This identifies interesting bodies such as close binary pairs and use your objects worth visiting as you scan a system. This system is fully configurable by you, no hard coding in the search scan panel. See episode 12 for more details. 
Thank you for watching this video on the new router in Elite Dangerous Discovery 17. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.